Hey guys, hope you're well. Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at um, uh, partial fractions. So partial fractions. So using MATLAB. Right. Yeah, so on a side note, guys, I'll really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe and please do share the videos with your friends. So yeah, so let's get started. So sims, so symbol, yeah. Right, x, right. So this is symbol symbol variable that I'm gonna be using. Okay, and then um, I've got y, and my function is two times um, x minus two divided by um, x to the power four, right? Minus three times x squared plus one. So right, that's my first function, and then my second one z. I'll call it z, right? And then that's um, 5 times x squared, sorry, 5 times x squared, right? And then that's divided by uh, 1 plus 2, 1 plus um, 2x squared times x squared. Okay, cool. And then another function, so 2 times um, x cubed, right? And that's divided by 3 times x um, squared uh, yeah x squared yeah minus one right cool okay so the method this is part part frac right and then that's uh y with respect to x okay cool um you don't have to type in the x right so you can just do it this way so part frac y Okay, and then that will just give you the same answer, right? So, uh, if you don't type in the x, right, it will just use this uh, sims x, right? So, it will use a variable determined by a sim variable, okay, sims x, symbolic. Okay, cause all the break it on, so part rock, um, z, there we are, and then another one, part rock again. Uh, that's G. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it's just just a quick intro um, on partial fractions using MATLAB. Um, so yeah. So like like I said again, if you do like what you see, uh, please do subscribe and um, continue uh, uh, sharing the videos with your friends. Yeah, I'd greatly appreciate that. Okay. Cool. So yeah, just on a side note, have a lovely day. Bravo.